Hi, I'm Marcin Hale. And I'm Stephen Abcon. And we are two of the producers on the, the film Fantastic Fungi and also producers on this film, on the album Reimagine, Fantastic Fungi Reimagine. And uh, we are thrilled to welcome everybody to this uh, amazing event that um, we're really thrilled about. Um, as Marcina said, we're executive producers on Fantastic Fungi. And uh, the idea of an album and bringing diverse voices in really in a mycelial way, just like the, the film um, has been a dream of many people. Uh, especially want to shout out to, uh, to Parmita Pushman and to Amber Rubarth who have guided this project. And we are launching this project during a, one of the most challenging times in, in all of our lives. And with so many things going on in the world and the development of the coronavirus and the issues with the ecology and so forth, it is a time where we are looking at what we can do. You know, the feeling of hopelessness and helplessness is a lot of what our people are experiencing along with some depression. And what is it that we can do? And enduring in times of difficulty, it's always really important to imagine what could what it could be, what we could do. And in that terms, that's one of the reasons why we came up with the name. It's reimagine. You know, how do we reimagine our lives, our world, and the possibilities? And it's one of the key concepts in the film Fantastic Fungi is our ability to connect with nature to reimagine. And so the album brings together 24 uh, diverse, beautiful voices from around the world uh, to do just that, to reimagine. And, uh, and it did begin with a film. And I think it's important to, uh, to recognize that this film uh, was 13 years in the making from the great uh, director, cinematographer, Louis Schwartzberg. Uh, a big shout out to, to Louis, uh, who's a dear friend. And, um, and the film emerged into the world uh, and was embraced uh, in an extraordinary way. And we used that as a model for this album. So uh, the proceeds from the album are actually going to support education and awareness around the therapeutic benefits of mushrooms. Uh, and, um, and just like the, the film, the album is being created uh, by all of us. Yes. And so to allow for all of the proceeds to go toward uh, this important um, education and awareness in the medical field, um, we have launched a Kickstarter so that we can all get to create this album together. And we actually have, I think, four days left. So uh, you can see on your screen where to join us on the Kickstarter. And we have amazing thank yous along the way, including uh, private meetings with Paul Stamets, with Louis Schwartzberg, with the great Merlin Sheldrake, uh, who has a new book, Entangled Life Out, grow kits from, from our sponsors at Ecovative, and so much more. But most importantly, and just the album itself, the album itself, the beauty of the album is when these voices come together, the music comes together, it becomes something even greater than what they are just individually. It's a really great album to listen to. So reimagine. So without further ado, we are thrilled to be joined by some amazing musicians and human beings. Uh, and uh, if we could welcome uh, Sam Garrett, Mose, Don Mitchell from Darling Side and Parangi. Hey, hey guys, welcome. Thank you so much. Great to see you Thanks for having us. We're, we're thrilled to have you all. And I know that, uh, Sam is uh, is reaching us from Portugal. Uh, Sam is reaching us from Portugal. Don is uh, outside of Boston. Uh, Mose, you're in Guatemala, I know. And Prangi, where are you reaching us? Sedona, Arizona, Southwest. From Sedona, Arizona, beautiful. Welcome to you all. 
you know, and it's one of those things that I would love to hear from you and anybody can talk to express what brought you and what motivated you to be a part uh, of this album and this work that we're doing, the project. Um, for me, I can say that I saw the film, I was lucky to see the film just after it was released and um, it was during this time where COVID was just coming up and um, we were in England, I was with my partner in England, staying at her family's home in the south of England and we all watched the film together, the whole family watched the film and uh, it had a really profound effect, not not just on me, but the whole family, because we had no idea about uh, the potential and the power um, that mushrooms really hold and our connection to them and what they can really bring, especially in this time. And so I think for all of us, we were kind of like, after the film finished, we were all kind of a bit in shock and kind of looking at each other like, wow, this is amazing. You know, we really didn't know any of this. Um, even though I've experimented uh, with psilocybin and you know these these mushroom spies, I, I didn't know all about you know the different things that were shared in the film. So I think the educational aspect is something that I'm just getting into, and it's something that really excites me. Um, and then when the opportunity came to be part of uh, for my song with Mose, uh to to be part of the album, I was just fully on board. Like yeah, in whatever way I can support this movement, this project. Um, I just wanted to be involved, so I'm really, really grateful to be to be involved. I think it's amazing. Thank you so Thank much. You. Yeah, I can I can share. Um, yeah, so this film kind of came into my life uh, in a very similar way to the Mycelial Network. It started coming at me in multiple directions different friends telling me about it, maybe seeing a post here and there, um, and feeling this attraction to watch it. And, um, and then Hermita reached out to me about the potential of uh, collaborating with it. And I was like, oh, wow, yeah, it's just, it, there's definitely something going on here. And watched the film, also was, was really impacted. And really, my life in general, um, I would say, my spiritual path, you know, my my awakening, or like what I call my spiritual spark, started with a mushroom journey in the, the deep playa of Burning Man. Uh, everything kind of shifted from that point forward, and that's when I started producing and, and making music, devoting my life to this kind of creative path. And so, really, in a way, the the mycelial network is is fundamental to um, who I am today. That's beautiful. And I know, Parangi, you've talked about, you've all talked about music as medicine in some way. Um, yeah, for me, um, it's, it's really this, I've been tracking Paul's work for, for decades, actually. I've been a major fan of his. I was first turned on to him back when I was at Duke University, and um, I was part of a, a consortium of, of practitioners, of healers, of medical doctors. Um, and during that time, one of them, she's a Chinese medicine doctor, um, and she turned me on to Paul's like first talk, I think, ever at Bioneers. And listening to him, I was just, you know, mind blown. And I was just so deeply moved. I'm like, thank you, thank you, thank you that, you know, a human being like this exists, that's able to bridge the world, you know, I think of, of the heart and of the science and to really get and embody, um, yeah, the concept of what is the mycelia and what is, what is the message from these incredible relatives of ours. So I've been a huge fan. And... Um, I was actually tracking the film for some time, and I got to see the preview at a MAPS conference back in the fall that was in Austin, Texas. I was performing at, and Paul was the keynote. And it was just so awesome. You know, he showed the preview, and I was just like, I was in the back of the room, just like, oh my God, I got to see this. Like, how do, I, how do I get to see this? And so when Parmita sends me the link, you know, to the video finally, I was just, and told me about the project, I'm like, yes, absolutely, without a doubt, you know, if I can be of service and, and support this message getting out there, I think it's so important. Um, you know, I, I've also had the honor of working, you know, with in the lineage of Maria Sabina and with different teachers and curanderos and working with los niños, as we call them, the children, um, the honguitos, the, the, our mushroom relatives, um, in that way, in the psilocybe realm. 
and I've been deeply, you know, I've had a deep relationship with them for many years. Um, and so I know that for many people, it's a very scary place. It's kind of the unknown, and it can be also, you know, obviously in the United States, it's technically illegal in, in most parts. So, so it's really a, important, I think, that we bridge it for people so that they can really start to have this understanding. And I feel the, the medium of film, of course, is so beautiful. And, and this film is done and so beautifully. Um, the combination of sound and visuals and, and the talking that I feel it really bridges to people that otherwise would never even consider this, you know, would never even have a way to approach it. So I really appreciate that. So, and of course, the extension of music and how music, of course, is the universal language. And mm -hmm. so it's, I feel it's just, um, it's just an easy wedding, if you will, of the two. So yeah, I'm super thrilled to be a part of this and I'm really stoked that we get to be here today and share a little Thank bit of Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Don? Um, yeah, I was going to say, I, I think for context, you know, I'm just one member of a band called Darling Side, and this is a, in some ways, a, a maybe a good kind of uncomfortable for me in that, in that we basically <laughs> never perform outside of the context of all four of us. And that's also how we write all of our songs together. And uh, so over the years, we've kind of developed this, this what, we, what we call a group consciousness, uh, where we just, we kind of do a lot of brainstorming exercises where we try to get past our internal critics and editors and um, our sort of very rational like foreground of the mind and into the subconscious and we get it all out there. And then by the time we're actually putting together a song and really saying like, okay, what does this mean? What is this song? What's the, what's the heart of this? It's often we're referring back to um, lyrics and words and phrases and things that that um that came out of we don't even know which one of us and so uh we've done a lot of we've also done a lot of play with uh with time in our music thinking about past and present melting together and sort of that that's also um on our most recent album that was our way of also looking into the future and so i think given all of that um uh, I think David Macias and uh, and Amber Rubarth and and folks through our Thirty Tigers community um, with whom we put out that album, uh, they sort of sent us the link and said, "Hey, it seems like you'd be kind of a natural fit for this because this is like the way the way that we the way that we write is sort of we're, we're trying to put ourselves in a very open, receptive, kind mm -hmm. of networked." Um, networked position to begin with so i i think uh you know when i saw the film i was like well duh that's a that's a great call and um i think we had already agreed at that point like this is a great idea we're in uh before we even saw the film but then afterwards i i was just uh yeah blown away by yeah. some of those connections and how much i identify with that um that desire to get past the first layer and sort of be able to see what's all under your feet that's connecting you to everything else yeah. in the world and that's sort of my hope for what music does in general and uh beyond that also i started eating uh eating vegan in january and so have been cooking a ton of different mushrooms and found this great store mm -hmm. so it's all come around at a perfect time for me and i couldn't be more delighted to be a part of it uh, yeah. that's beautiful we always say that it's like uh it's like the mycelium at work you know they wait for the perfect conditions to fruit and for each of us they find us at the right time right and um, and I loved hearing you each of you talk, but Don, when you talked about a group consciousness uh, and the way that you guys write um, is so beautiful. And it struck me that in having uh, the four of you, the the, the first four, four musicians, we're doing with the, this with, and we're doing this over the next couple of days with a number of other people on the album. It's the perfect place to start because of, of that writing from a group consciousness or the collaboration of Sam and Moe's or Prangy with so many other people as well. Um, that that it, uh, and even bringing in, I love that you brought in Paul Stamets. Uh, Paul has been an inspiration for us and for so many people around the world. His message that's been shared in the film is so critical in this moment. And, uh, and it's that energy that flows through all of this music. And I think that we should get to some music. Yeah. Um, music is medicine. And uh, Sam, uh, Maybe you could share with us uh, some music. Yeah, I would love to. So yeah, this song is called Upa Sana, and um, it features on my album called The Dance and the Wonder. And Moe's and I have been collaborating before uh, as I spent time in Guatemala. 
and he just loved the track and he said, I, I, I want to remix the track. And so this is the kind of original form that you're going to hear, but if you haven't heard the song with Moe's, of course you'll be able to hear it on the album, uh, Reimagine. And he's just a genius in the way that he, he creates and has created something very, very magical with, with this song. But the song is called Upasana. Mm -hmm.
Uh, Sam, that was gorgeous. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You know, it's, uh, it's this place where there's an eternal optimist that I am and the, that touches that part of um, me. And I really appreciate that. I do want to say that, you know, all this work could not be done if it wasn't for so many people participating and, and joining in. And it's the same thing in our world. You know, our world is comprised of our individual actions and what we choose to put our time and our energy and our money towards. And I really want to be able to support all the work and all the amazing artists that are on this album and the work that's being done in, in the field of uh, mycology and mushrooms. And if you want to be a part of this group and you want to join us in creating this and creating the message and building it, we encourage you to join us on the Kickstarter where you can go ahead and order the album and be a, get the album out. It's a double album. It's a beautiful album and so many other ways of being able to connect. It's really about community, just like mycelium. How do we support in this world, the things that we believe in, the things that touch us, the things that move us, so that we keep moving in that direction. So thank you, Sam, very much. That was really beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wow. So, and I should also say that on the album, um, that song is on the album uh, as a remix with Mose. Um, so come check it out. And, uh, you know, it was funny as we were, as, as this album was developing and each person would join in and you, there was a video that we showed at the beginning and maybe we'll show it at the end again. Incredible artists that are on it. You got, you all and, um, uh, and so many other people, but it was so fun as each person would join, would see the film or would be inspired or would, or would, would um, raise their hand and say, I want to be a part of it. And to see it built that way, to see it flourish that way is, is, is incredibly heartwarming and, and so important in this moment. And I remember when uh, we were talking about Parangi, about you um, potentially joining the album and, and the conversations that were going on and, and, um, and how much thought went into finding the right song that would fit within the body of this larger work and, and, um, and sort of reverberate off of the other voices and other songs. And um, we're really grateful to have you on this album as well. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Yeah, it's incredible to be included. And I know it was a, a little bit of a journey. There's a lot of, um, yeah, there's, there's a lot of different ways. I feel like all of the music that, that I create honestly speaks to this energy that the mycelia teaches us. I mean, very much kind of everything that I, that I put out there is coming from a place of the earth consciousness, if you will. Pachamama, Madre Tierra, Tonantzin. She has many names that she goes by. And of course, for me, it's like the mycelium is like her nervous system essentially mm -hmm. you know really it's, it, it, it communicates it binds it it's it's the inner web the outer web it's the dark matter of the planet um and so i yeah for me it was like wow well which one would you guys like <laughs> there's so many so yeah i'd love to um if you guys would like um i'd like to offer a song uh, sure. we'd love that all and um yeah today you know the the one that's on the album is otorongo and it's a, it's a remix by another amazing producer who worked with us uh, named Jacare. Um, and Otorongo for me is, is a song that, you know, it's, it speaks to the jaguar. Otorongo is, is Quichua for jaguar. Mm -hmm. um, and the medicine of the jaguar in the cosmology of the people in that part of the Amazon, and I'd say throughout the Amazon, is a deep respect and reverence for this animal. Um, it's one of the guardians, the keepers of what we call the middle world as opposed to say in Peru, they talk about um, the, the condor being kind of the keeper of the upper world and the anaconda, the serpent of the underworld. And not so much in like the Judeo-Christian sense of it, of course, these worlds are more of just, they're just realms that we, we are interacting with, that we learn from, and as we navigate them, and whether it's in our subconscious, our conscious, or our highest self, our God self, if you will, um, we ha can call upon these, these animals these spirit guys, these naguales, as we say, um, to come and help us, to help us navigate those realms. And one of the amazing medicines of the jaguar, which I felt really apropos with this project, is its ability to, it hungers for fear. 
it teaches us how to, to be able to catch our fear and to have courage, even though our fear, to not let our fear overtake us. Um, and so it, the jaguar eats the fear and then digests it and is able to transform wow. it into medicine, to nourishment. And I love it on several levels. Obviously, right, right now I feel at this time in the world, we really need to, to take our fear, right, and transmute. Yes. The fear body is, is bigger, is more powerful right now than it's ever been because it's being fed, right, all this fear around the COVID and around all this, this energy of this, this energy that's encircling us. And it's within us. And we all have the power to really transmute it. And I feel like that's the invitation here. And I love the other level to this is the mycelium. You know, the onguitos, the mushroom relatives, they, that's what they're all about. Right? They take the stuff, the ugliest stuff, the stuff that no one wants to deal with, the really scary stuff that, that could kill us, that's toxic, and they turn it back into life. And I feel like that's really the medicine, right? Is how do we turn, transform, and transmute right. the, the most difficult things in our life, the suffering, the edge, right. the place that no one wants to go, and turn it into new life, turn it into the compost that all life emerges from. So, yeah. yeah. So with that, um, wow. I'm going to take you in. We didn't Thank get a you. real sound check, so I hope it sounds okay. Um, <laughs> Let's uh, give it a this, go. Yeah, let's give it a go. Just a little music here from uh, from our relatives from the forest, just calling in that energy into this space.
to our grandmothers and our grandfathers. And we may always remember to walk in you. For when we tread each footstep upon the earth, we we'll step upon her heart. May it always be with the sensitivity that we enter here in a sacred way, in a good way. And we plant beauty in front of us, behind, above, and below, and to the sides. Bojani in the heart. You know, we know that healing vibration and the importance of it when we're doing even the work with the uh, psilocybin and MDMA and the studies they're doing, but also in all the cultures who have carried this for centuries. And thank you. I want to really honor the ability for this to shift us and move us. Thank you. I, I, can, I can hear it in your voice, Mars, that... Uh... Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. The um, the notion of reimagine was always at the heart of this album and reimagining what's possible. And I think in many ways, it stems from uh, from first understanding our interconnectedness. And uh, Don, when when you and your your bandmates from Darling Side offered up singularity. Um, you know, as you said, you watched the film and you were like, duh. Well, when you offered up singularity, we were like, of course. <laughs> and um, I don't know if I feel moved to, to, to ask if you would share that song with us. Of course. Yeah. It'd be a pleasure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think, uh, I think this song made, made a lot of sense to us for this context because um it was on an album that definitely had some uh some apocalyptic overtones um but this particular song is sort of our in my mind is like a, a psychedelic apocalypse uh for us and it's talking a lot about ends and beginnings and it starts right off the bat imagining this future impending doom uh but sort of wondering what comes after that uh, and I think that really, to me, speaks to the kind of cycle of death and rebirth um, that Fantastic Fungi is is talking about um, and how mushrooms can help the planet and also the human beings on that planet um, to to process things uh, themselves. And uh, and yeah, so I'm really excited to, to share this song. Someday a shooting star is gonna shoot me down Burn these high rises back into the poster Of iridium white clouds added close against while the sky hangs empty as a
Thank you so much. Singularity. Singularity. You know, I want to appreciate so much everybody's voice in this, be able to participate not just with your music, but with your words and your vision and what you see is possible. And really want to, again, invite everybody to be a part of what we're working on, you know, join in. It's something that it doesn't come from one person. Our creation, what we're going to be doing on this earth requires all of us. And so what are you looking for? What do you want to create? And who do you want to do it with? And uh, we want to thank each of you from the bottom of our hearts for, for being on this album, for being in this project with us, um, for lending your hearts, your voices, your, your um, uh, immense presence to this project. Mo's in Guatemala, Sam in Portugal, Don in Boston, Perengi in, in Sedona, Arizona, us in the Hudson Valley, um, and people all over the world. I also want to thank the people who helped make it possible, um, our friends at Ecovative, at Spore, um, at Unify, Aspen Brain Institute, and Ear Trumpet Lab. The teams at Moving Art, the teams here at Reconsider, and all of the people that have put their time and energy in heart into this. And one of the things that, that I, I know you each spoke about and we felt the same way is the inspiration of the film Fantastic Fungi, um, Louis Schwartzberg. Uh, we're so grateful to you. Um, and for those who haven't been inspired yet by the movie, here's where you can see it. Um, and uh, um, you can uh, rent or, or, um, or watch, buy or watch the movie on that site. And um, and join us, join us in this mycelial network. It uh, matters. It does matter. Um, to each of you, thank, thank you, you so much. To everybody who's watching at home, uh, we thank you as well. And please share this out with your friends. And uh, and we're gonna leave you today with, uh, with a, a short video. Um, but, uh, but first, our, our, our gratitude to, to each of you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In times like these, we have the opportunity to deepen our connection with ourselves, each other, and the natural world. A group of diverse artists has come together to create fantastic fungi, Reimagine. I'm Amber Rubarth, I'm a producer and artist on the album. After watching the documentary, Fantastic Fungi, 
I felt called to bring artists together to collaborate with this belief that community enriches our vitality. The idea resonated. We now have a 24-track double album celebrating the intelligence of nature and our interconnectedness with the mycelial kingdom. And it's that biodiversity that gives sustainability to the ecosystem. The mushroom mycelium represents rebirth, regeneration, rejuvenation. We've launched a Kickstarter to cover the initial production costs, so proceeds will go to the important work of building awareness around therapeutic benefits of mushrooms. We have some incredible rewards thanks to our partners, and we need a little help getting to our goal. Thank you so much, and enjoy the music.